Welcome to this Reprie tutorial. I'm Colin, and today I'm going to be taking you through part two of the trade record tutorial. As always, to access your trade record, you will click on your client, the transaction, and trade. And lastly is the commission calculator. So let's expand that calculator. And let's go ahead and enter the information that we know. We'll say the selling price here will be 500,000. We're representing the listing side, but you're able to choose any option that is most relevant to your deal. You can change the tax rate if you need to. And then we come down to the commissions themselves. Generally, the total commission will reflect your side of the deal. So if the full commission for both the listing and the buying side were based on the first 100,000 and the balance, and the commission details were 7% on the first 100,000 and 3% on the balance, for our side of the deal, it would be 3.5% on the first 100,000 and 1.5 on the balance. And right away you can see that our calculator is letting us know that the listing side and buying side commission amounts do not add up to the total commission amount. We're just gonna go ahead and continue filling out information until those sides do balance. So you'll come down here, since in this deal we are the listing side, you will choose for the listing side the same type of commission, enter that total amount, and then you're gonna come down to your realtor and choose the commission type for them, either a percent of the commission or a flat fee. In this case, we'll say a percent of the commission. We'll do 100%. And you can see that our commission amounts balance, but you'll also notice that our commission calculator does not. The reason for that is that we need to acknowledge the buying side. While we don't need all of their information, we need to acknowledge that there is a buying side and we need to add our buying side agent to the trade record. So first you'll come down to that buying side You'll choose the same commission type that you are currently working with on your side. You won't need to fill anything out here. And lastly, we'll add our buying side agent. And as you can see, our commission calculator now balances. Now let's take a look at a couple of other options here. We went with the first 100,000 in the balance. We also have the option to just do a flat percentage. Go ahead and enter that here. And you can see our commission calculator balances. Lastly, we have the option to do a flat fee. And once again, our commission calculator is in balance. There's one more aspect of the commission calculator that's important to go over, and that is the referral. If there is a referring agent on the deal, you'll come down, add that referring agent, check off that they are a referral, and then enter the percentage amount and reduce your percentage by that amount. If you did want to reflect both the listing and the buying sides of the deal, and if you're choosing commission type, first 100,000 and the balance, You'll just need to reflect the total deal. So in our case, that would be 7% on the first 100,000 and 3% on the balance. The listing side would be the same commission type and would be half of both of those. As the realtor, we would automatically be in here, but we would choose the percent of commission or a flat fee. Come down to the buying side, choose the first 100,000 on the balance as well. Now we'll need to balance it out with the other half with the buying side commission breakdown. And then we need to add our buying side agent. And now you've reflected both sides of the deal. And the last thing that you will do with your trade record will be to save as PDF. This is going to save it back to your transaction and you'll see your trade record appeared here. By clicking on it, you can look at the PDF and see all the information that we've added in here. You can click on this info button to see the details. You can make any changes. For example, you can change the name here and then you just wanna save those details. You also have the option of deleting this document if something changes along the way. Lastly, you can download the document to your computer and then you can save that to your computer by clicking save here or you can print off a copy for yourself by clicking print. There's one final detail within the trade record that is important to make note of. Once your trade record has been submitted, your transaction manager has the option to lock that trade record. So if you come in here and you find that you can't make any changes, Make sure you check here and see if your trade record has been locked. If it has, you'll just need to ask your transaction manager to make those changes or to unlock the trade record for you once again. And that is how you fill out the commissions calculator of the trade record, as well as save a PDF to your transaction, print or download. For more tutorials, please click on our support page or click on the green help tab and one of our agents would be happy to assist you.